My name is Warren Crocs, I'm with PhiladelphiaSoul.com, and this week after practice, we had a chance to interview Joe Gooseby and Brian Robinson about their last week's game against the Arizona Rattlers. We stayed them pretty tough, but we knew that uh, we were there. We get our hands on the ball, make a play, and I was able to tip it to myself and turn it back for a touchdown. A lot of times, stuff we saw in film, you know, we kind of got a bead on what they wanted to do. Um, but yeah, once you get one pick going and then you get another one, it just seems like the snowball gets to rolling and everybody just, you know, it's contagious on defense and everybody wants to make a play. And, we thought we had four of them. We thought maybe B round, but Fumble was an intercept. I mean, you know, we just started making plays on defense, and it got contagious, and we got hot for a while, but we need to carry it out throughout the whole game and not get cold at the end of the, quarter, at the, end of the fourth quarter. I just try to play hard. Uh, you know, they kind of had a monkey on They've been like a monkey on our back, so, you know, I just wanted to get it off. Individually, I think I play pretty good, but there's always room for improvement. So, you know, I just take it in and I watched them yesterday on and some things I need to work on for this week, so I'm just going to try to get better. And, uh, this franchise is a story for its short history, but a story, you know, it's a lot, it's a rich franchise as far as the history and uh, the owners are great. And, uh, and uh, the coach, uh, Coach uh, Dozell, has been terrific. I just have them to thank and, and my teammates around me. You know, without them, I don't think any of it would be possible. So it's truly an accomplishment for me and them. So. And then they talked about preparing for the New Orleans Voodoo for this upcoming game on Saturday. Yeah, even though, even though their record's not as good, you know, they wanted to be, they're still a good team. You know, they have, uh, they have two guys on their team, they have some guys on their team that played here, but if they're up in the souls, you know, they're going to be, you know, uh, excited. They're going to be ready to play there and come out with their best game. And it's, they're on our side, they're on the American Conference. So, I mean, that fourth, that fourth spot for the playoffs is still up for grabs. So they can always sneak in and get that. So, you know, you know so we want to distance ourselves and, and uh, Get, definitely get the win against New Orleans. Get back on the win track ourselves. New Orleans is a good team. I mean, they showed that they they they're they're up to the task uh, last week when they played Cleveland and, and kind of blew them out the water a little bit. Uh, they're just uh, right now they look like they're they're catching strides. So they're a dangerous team. Uh, they've uh, gone through the ups and downs. Had a couple injuries this year. Uh, quarterbacks have uh, been hurt and uh, struggling back and forth and. Offensive line's been rotating in, guys. So, you know, I, th I feel like they're one of those teams who, who could put on a charge here at the end. So we got to do our best job because everybody gives us their best game anyway. So we got to do our best job of just competing and, and playing as if it were a 10 and 1 New Orleans team. And also, I got a chance to run the 40 yard dash in front of head coach Clint Dozell. Whenever you're ready. Well, um, I'm sure you saw the video of me trying to defend Tiger Jones and we recorded about 40 times, so they make the team or what? I'm going to have to say uh, an astounding no. Your 40 time wasn't caught up to par, um, but I do have a great job for you. Make sure you come out to the Wells Fargo Center this Saturday as the Philadelphia Soul take on the New Orleans Voodoo. If you can't make it out to the game, check them out on the Comcast Network beginning at 7.05.